Jen. Hey everyone, this is Jade from Center Stage Magazine, and I am sitting here with Eddie from one of the hottest rock bands right now, King. Stop it, you. And I say King with a Y because yes. I feel like everyone gets confused. They so. do. Yeah, I don't know the genius who put that name together. Was it you? Where no. did the name come from? Actually, uh, I think the guys in the band were like, hey, let's call the band King. And then my stupid idiot brain was just like, yeah, but let's do it with a Y. Because I don't want to get confused with Elvis Presley. <laughs> you know, so it was just, it was a mess. But there's another band from the 80s called King. Yeah, they have a pretty big hit. So I didn't, you know. You didn't want to be associated. Yeah, it'd be, it would have been weird. KYNG seemed to, seemed to be smart at the time. It's which different. It wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. That's like my name. My name's Jade, but there's an I in between the A and the D. Spell it. J-A-I-D-E. Oh, so everyone gets confused, so I always have to clarify. It's almost like Haida. That's what Rudy Sarzo said. That's oh. how Rudy Sarzo pronounces you know, you know, my it's name. Funny. Rudy Sarzo, also Cuban. Yes. You know who else is Cuban? Who? This guy right You're here. You're Cuban? I'm Puerto Rican. What? Crazy. Oh my god, we're like neighboring oh. islands. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. So tell me about you. Who are some of your influences? Uh, Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, Pantera, Opeth, Megadeth, Metallica. Wait, those are all so different. The Beatles, Blind Melon, Prince. Yeah, we could keep we could keep going. Those are all so different. Queens though. of Stone Age. Well, yeah, Foo Fighters. Yeah, for sure. So really, kind of eclectic. A hundred percent. Yeah. If you if you're if there's people who are familiar with my band, they'll understand that. We don't kind of pigeonhole ourselves into any genre. We're like a rock and roll meets metal band. Metal band meets rock and roll band. Either way, it's bad. Yeah, I saw you guys. Um, <coughs> I saw you guys play. Thank you. I saw you guys open for Fozzy in Pittsburgh. Oh, you were there? I was there, and that's when you were making fun of the guy who was in the crowd and he was on his phone. And you called him <laughs> out. You the got imaginary pissed. girlfriend guys. I remember those dudes. Yeah, Pittsburgh. Those dudes were so mad because they were pretending like they had a life. Yeah, it was great though. You guys did really well. How was that tour with Sons of Texas and Fozzy? They're all great guys. Um, it was good. We had a, we had like a blast. Uh, the dudes in Fozzy were great. We were sharing a bus with them at the time. I heard. Yeah, so was Chris Jericho and I would sleep together. And when he would fly back home to be with his family, I would sleep in his light jacket. You guys were cuddle buddies. We were uh, we were uh, boner buddies, if you nice. will. Yeah, I think that's better. Nice. Boner buddies. So what were you doing uh, prior to King? Uh, I was a graphic artist, I guess. Okay, yeah, I had a real job. I was making real money. And now we make rock and roll bucks, nice. which is a lot like Taco Bell bucks. Yeah, a little bit <laughs> they don't, special. They don't work in real life, but you know, when you're at a festival, you get whatever you want. And speaking of this festival, we're at Chicago Open Air right now. It's the last day. What bands are you looking forward to seeing? Uh, Bohemoth, Ozzy, uh, I think Stone Sour is playing. Stone I just Sour saw my buddy playing. Roy here, so yeah. Roy, fun story about that guy. He almost played with King for a second. He was going to fill in for our drummer uh, back at the uh, OzFest meets NotFest. I think it was the first one that we played. Oh, shit. Yes. Last year? Two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, my drummer pulled it together and he ended up coming out. But I got to jam with Roy a few times. It was pretty awesome. So cool, yeah. yeah. And how do you like playing these festivals? Because there's so many bands and they're all kind of different. And you get to expose your music to all these different people who might have not known you prior to this. It's, it's cool. Well, you know, these festivals are funny because I, I think the music kind of runs secondary for the dudes who are actually playing it. Uh -huh. It's more of a, like, a barbecue type festival, <laughs> you know, so it's like you kind of come over and uh, you're ready to uh, 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 jam a little bit, but it really doesn't matter because you're really, you really just want to go hang out with, like, friends that you've met through the years. Yes, that's how I feel. Like, of course I'm here for the bands, but getting to meet... Right, that'll help you. But getting to meet new people and hang yeah. out with all you guys is honestly the best part and then you all share a common love completely yeah so it's fun we're, it's, we're all it's like summer camp in a day mm -hmm. yeah summer camp for grown-ups yes yeah now tell me about your debut album it came out in 2011 right our debut album trampled sun yeah holy shit i don't even remember when it came out but yeah a long time ago yeah. so. tell me about it oh it was awesome uh it was pretty much self-produced a lot of songs kind of ran on a little too long, but uh, they were good, and, and now the, the quality of it sucked ass, but you know, we were able to uh, pull it out of our butts and uh, created a very special record, yeah. 
And then at leading into uh, Burn the Serum, which was our second record, uh, that got a lot better sonically, you know? So uh, it's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really and good you one. guys got signed to Razor and Tie in 2013, right? I think so. Was that big? You know more than, than I do. Apparently. I do. I did I all my research. I had no clue who the F we were, but you're like, Not all these notes. Where did these notes come Are these from Jose Mangan? No. It had to be. No, I wrote that. That's his writing. <laughs> Mine too, and it's a pink pen. So. Nice. He, he owns a pink pen. Nice. Yeah, so what was getting signed for you? Was that like, okay, we're actually starting to do something now? No, I mean, we were signed before from the first record. To who? Uh, Reality Records. Yeah, so we were with them, but, you know, they were like a really, uh, a mini independent, very, like, micro independent, if you will. And uh, it was great with them because they only had two bands and we were the better band. <laughs> so, nice! Yeah, Who so, was the other band? I'm not going to say. Fine. But uh, there were another band called Tool. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> Tool's amazing. That was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. I like Tool. Love them. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Uh, uh, you were the better band on the label and there were only two bands. Right, right, right. And then they, they, they kind of just had to throw in the towel. And uh, that was during the middle of recording Burn the Serum. And then uh, our friend Mike Gitter came out and checked us, took a look at our band, and he called Razor and Ty and said, you guys got to sign this, sign these dudes. And they did. You know? Nice. Yeah. Because I actually found out about you guys because I'm a big That Metal Show fan. That's, oh, like, around. my shit. And Jim Florentine plugged you guys. He was yeah. like, you have to check out this band King, King with a Y. Yeah. And I did, and then I found you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like it? I, I did. Feel like an overtone of you going. Look, I yeah, did. Like okay. it's a really different sound than what I usually listen you mean, you to. You mean not generic. Not generic. <laughs> Outside of the box, if yeah. you will, because like I'm like either death metal or like really 80s glam, like Danger, Danger, White Snake, that shit. No. Yes. But no. Yeah. Uh-uh. You don't like it? <laughs> Tell me you don't like Bon Jovi. No. Come on. I know there's someone here who really loves Bon Jovi, and I always make fun of her. But no, I mean, but, okay, listen, look, I get it. There's a place in time. They were awesome for when it was happening, but no. <laughs> but they're so, Rat just got back together. Who? Rat. Who fucking cares? <laughs> I care. You're, you're uh, Steven Piercy, right? That's your dude? Yeah. How old are you? 19. You get the fuck out of my face. No! So you're 19 and you love rat? Yeah. That's not true. But I also love, like, death and all that kind of death shit from back then. Death is great. Death is great. One of my favorite records is Symbolic. So. Oh my god, that was so the first record I ever heard, Crystal Mountain. When I was little, I used to just run around and sing that song. It's great. It's my favorite. Yeah, Chuck yeah. was amazing. Yeah. But anyways, tell me, what are you guys up to now? You just released the record last year. So yeah, well, on, we, yeah, we released... Uh, keep doing that uh, release breathe in the water October and we were on on the road with clutch at the time so it was a great idea to release it toured with a lot of you toured with Danzig we did I yeah fucking love them. see that makes sense I love the misfits the misfits are great and I have a Ramones that time. tattoo nice I just Ramones Ramones yeah that's great yeah. yeah I just visited Johnny Ramones grave oh, not too yeah. long ago yeah which now Chris Cornell's buried next to him which crazy. is a bummer yeah crazy. Yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah. What were we saying? Oh. Rat? Why? <laughs> what are you doing now? You're touring? Except oh, yeah, we're out, we're out with Hell Yeah at the at this point right now. Uh, we're hanging out with the dudes from Hell Yeah, our brothers, uh, you know, so we're going to be stuck with them. Uh, They're here for, today, right? Yeah, they are here today, nice. yeah. So we'll be hanging out, high-fiving them all night. Uh, but we're with them for another month, I guess. Yeah, that tour is coming October, to my August. town, and guess Where's where I'm going to be? Well, I live in Rochester, but it's in Buffalo, and guess where I'm going to be? Not in Buffalo. No, I'm going to be at an 80s glam rock festival. Lame! <laughs> in Firehouse and God shit. damn it, no! <laughs> what is wrong with you? A lot. I can, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, let me tell you crazy. something. Um, yeah, you probably shouldn't go with that. I want to Who's going to play? Firehouse and who else? Firehouse. Warrant, Tecoli from Danger, Danger, all these glam bands. Yeah. And I gotta go. Eric Martin from Mr. Big, Vince Neal. Vince Neal's gonna be there? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of the big names, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, all, they're all gonna be there. And you are gonna be one happy 
girl. Steel Panther is going to be there. Those guys actually play really well. They're they actually very good. They were here yesterday. Yeah, yeah. They are very good. So tell me, where can we keep up with all things you? I don't and know. I never know this question. It's like kyngband.com, like kingband.com. And then there's like Facebook forward slash King band or king rocks i don't know okay i have no clue just google king with the y don't do that bro you can try because there's also a rapper who has been trying to steal our name and do you have a copyright I, we do of course okay. um so somebody's then getting somebody's getting sued <laughs> that's all i'm saying but yeah kyng king king band uh go look it up our record's called breathe in the water it's absolutely phenomenal um yeah you should go see that instead of rat or Warren. Yeah, or Warren. Firehouse. Yeah. Have Steve you ever Snyder from Twisted Sister is going to be there. He's cool. He's yeah, I went to his roast and it was pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. As a matter of fact, uh, the song I want to rock. rock. I want to rock. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that video was recorded at my high school. No way. Yeah, so when you watch that video, I went to school in all, and swam in the pool where the teacher got shot out of wow. and jumped off that diving board. Good to know. High school. Damn. Montebello High School. Mm-hmm. What? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to me and hanging out and giving me a lifesaver mid-conversation. Appreciate it. You didn't cough after that. You're right. Look at Can you. I say, awesome. this is going to help you? Yeah. And I gave it to you? Yes. So thank you so much once again. No and problem. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys play later. I'll be photographing you. So oh, please, yeah. Awesome. Play to the camera. I'll wave at you with my fingers.